everyone. Welcome to Upgrad Grassroots. I'm Imad Mohammad Khan and I've been working as a data scientist for the past many years. Today, we're going to take a look at Python, one of the fastest growing programming languages in the world. We'll explore the role it plays in data science and machine learning and how you can become a Python programmer. And if you like this video, make sure to check out the Upgrad Grassroots playlist and subscribe to the channel. So, what is Python? Python is one of the fastest growing programming languages in the world today. Over the past few years, Python has cemented itself as one of the major programming languages, specifically in high income countries. In fact, according to a Stack Overflow developer survey, it is consistently ranked in the top three most loved programming languages in the world. Other programming languages like Java, and C++ require you to learn a lot of concepts before you can start writing full-fledged programs. But Python is so much more easier. It is often recommended for beginners to learn to program with Python since its syntax, that is the rules, are very easy to understand and are quite similar to the English language. If you've heard of Python recently, it must have been in the context of data science and machine learning. And that's true, a lot of data science machine learning or artificial intelligence engineers today use Python to build their data pipelines, train their models, and to deploy them. But let me tell you, Python is so much more than just that. Python is one of the most popular languages to build web applications. Instagram, which has more than a billion daily active users, uses a web framework called Django, which is written in Python under the hood. Just imagine, it's possible that all your Instagram influencers wouldn't exist if not for Python. Python is also used extensively in the scientific world. In fact, the first ever image of a black hole, which was a major milestone in the field of astronomy, was created using Python. Python today is a part of many different industries and plays a key role in driving the online economy forward. Python was first developed by Guido Van Rossum in the early 1990s. But Python is not a language written and maintained by just one person. There's a whole community of people who continually improve and add features to Python on a regular basis. Besides that, there's an entire ecosystem of open source projects built using Python that allow people to do different things using Python. However, until recently, the adoption of Python in India was not as fast as in the rest of the world. This can be explained partly due to India's focus on the IT services sector. So when India became the IT services capital of the world, much of the code was written in languages like C, C++, and Java. And therefore, there was a lot of demand for programmers in those languages. At that time, Python was largely restricted to academia and was mostly considered an academic language. However, with the increasing focus on data science and analytics today, Python has permeated both academia and the industry. In the last five years, there has been an increasing interest in learning Python. This has happened due to a variety of reasons. For instance, a lot of packages have been developed by open source contributors in recent years that make data analysis, data visualization, machine learning, and deep learning very easy to do. This has led to more interest from beginners in Python wanting to work in the fields of data science, machine learning, and artificial intelligence. Apart from that, since Python has a shorter learning curve, professionals from other fields such as finance, marketing, and sales are learning Python to automate tasks in their domains. As a Python developer, the salaries offered can vary depending on the specialization one selects. If you work as a data scientist, and use Python at work, then the average salary is around rupees 10 lakhs. If you work as a web developer and work with frameworks such as Flask, Django, etc., then your average salary might be around rupees 8 lakhs. If this has piqued your interest, then you should try out Python. Becoming a proficient Python programmer takes time, but one has to start somewhere. There are many different ways of getting started with Python. If you already have some background in programming, then it wouldn't take you much time to get up to speed. You can pick up an introductory book and go through the documentation to understand the syntax. If you are a complete beginner, try to watch videos on YouTube, which are linked in the description below, first to set things up and then start writing small programs and build some intuition from there. 
understand how things work, and then read more books, go through the documentation, and ask questions on sites like Stack Overflow, Quora, etc. if you get stuck somewhere. Now, just like learning anything in life, learning Python never stops. Even after programming in Python for so many years, I still keep learning something new almost every other day. There are blogs by other Python developers, there are social media posts, new courses, all of these help you keep updated with the latest happenings in Python. Well, that's all for today. To get direct access to any of the ready-made playlists we discussed throughout this video, please check the description. Hopefully, this video has helped you get some context on what Python is, why is it important, and what you can do to get started. So, what are you waiting for? Go get started right now.